ne passeront pas. Yo, what's up guys, Steve Hunt here and welcome back to another episode of Road to Max Rank in Battlefield 1. You know how it is, let's jump straight into it. I am playing as a support and we are currently in Monte Grappa. Let's see how it will go, hopefully it will be good. But, that's not all what I wanted to talk about actually. Let's speak about future DLC. Some information leaked, so we actually know what is coming in Battlefield 1 and actually the names of uh, future DLCs. In further in the video I speak a little bit more about the future DLC 2. So let's jump straight into it. In the picture you can see the names of the future DLCs. Obviously there, there's a DLC 1, Tation on Pass, which is already released. The second one DLC 2 in the name of Tsar, that's about Russian army. The first DLC 1 is called in the name of Tsar, the, the DLC is called Turning Tides and the last one DLC 4 is called The Apocalypse. Let's now have a look at the description of those DLCs. So. The DLC 2 in the name of the Tsar, there's a further description. So, enter the war's biggest front with the Russian army and fight in snow, covered ravens and a freezing archipelago in four new maps. The description of DLC 3 is this. Participate in the ambitious warfare of World War 1 and engage in the Daredevil, the right? the Gallipoli Offensive and more. And the last one, the Apocalypse, Go over the top in the most infamous battles of World War I. Conquer bitterly contested ground with brutal tools and unique weapon. And as you can see in the picture of DLC 2 in the name of the Tsar, you can actually see the railroad across the map and obviously the river. It kind of it kind of reminds me of the rapture from DLC 1, the Shown Pass. There's a big bridge and it's Basically, the only way how to cross the map for vehicles. And in my opinion, there will be lots of snipers, lots of sniper spots, and lots of vehicles, uh, especially planes. The DLC 3 turning tight. As you can see in the picture, there's a, there's a warship, plane, and basically this should be only level battles. We'll see actually how dice feel created. I, I really wonder how it will turn out. And I kind of looking forward to it because level battles in Battlefield 1 should be good. And the last one, the Apocalypse. As you can see, the gas mask or oxygen mask. It reminds me kind of those battles in mind, you know, where actually soldiers wear those masks and uh, as I said, this DLC will include brutal tools and unique weapons. And those weapons were especially created for battles in mind. So we'll see how Origin actually create those maps and I'm worried about that every player will use a shotgun over there because Obviously, it will be close corners. It's mine, so close corner maps, only tunnels. So I, I'm worried about it. Uh, I don't feel like I'm, I will be happy about this DLC, but uh, we'll see how it will go. Hopefully, it will turn out good, and actually, the players will not use shotguns only in those maps. Hopefully, 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 you know. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, talk about the DLC 2 in the name of the Tsar. Actually, core concept explorations leaked. So, let's see what can actually find in those pictures. So, picture number one, I spoke about it earlier. So, there's a railroad, the train only, uh, you can see the cavalry class and there's actually in the right bottom corner you can see the new LMG. Well, I I hope it will be a new LMG. 
and the cavalry class has a lens so uh, I wonder how actually work with cavalry class those lens this lens we'll see we'll see we'll see so the second one you can see it's kind of spring ish season for me at least and you can see again cavalry class with the lens and the new vehicle which uh, actually Russian army developed. That's an armored car with uh, LMG, and of course there are planes. Obviously, the third picture. In this picture, we can see only the armored train with the big snowplow in front of the train, and you can uh, you can see lots of snow. So, in my opinion, this map will be infantry only because of the amount of snow. So it will be would be hard for vehicles to actually drive in that amount of snow but this picture actually can't say much to us so let's continue and see the last concept exploration as you can see there's lots of to actually explore on the left side you can see new sentry kit in my opinion it's just a celery but it uh, looks like it uh, looks like a new sentry kit to me and he's using a mg it seems like lmg and of course there are boats and in the background of the battle you can see the warships again it will be interesting actually to see the impact of warships on the maps and i really looking forward to it because it will in my opinion it will be very interesting to kind of connect infantry and warships not only boats but warships and actually how dice will create those spawns in warships and actually those weapons in it and of course in the middle right in the middle you can see a russian sniper and it looks like He's using a new sniper rifle because of the curve on the bottom of the weapon and on his right hand side the Russian soldier and it looks like yeah, he's a classic assault. And in the background there's a siege gun against the warships actually. So I'm really looking forward to this DLC and those maps because obviously there are snow maps, all of them which will be really great uh, to see it in Battlefield 1 and I hope it will turn out now and the dice actually won't let us down with this DLC hopefully, I, uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that should be kind of it about upcoming DLCs what we actually know oh, I forgot to mention uh, those new DLCs will be available to play in the CTE program actually to test those maps etc etc so if you have a premium, premium pass so you need to register to the CTE program via your smartphone or PC basically you can enter the community to test environment and test those new maps after they will be actually released for testing let's now talk about future updates uh, in battlefield 1 so what is coming to the battlefield well developers will add the new platoons which is kind of creating groups of people who want to play together and uh, they have they actually have more people than five to create a squad for example let's talk about 10 people and you want to play together every map so you kind of you have to create two squads and those two squads because of this uh, this new feature platoon uh, because of this you will stay in the one team together so you don't have to play against each other actually if you are a member of a clan or you want to play with uh, your favorite youtuber you actually use these platoons and always actually you can join game and actually every time play with the clan or the youtuber you want 
Furthermore, there are coming new four weapons for basic four class. So, uh, basic class, what I mean, assault class, medic class, support class, and scout class. Those are basic four ones. So, if you reach the rank 10, you actually uh, get the weapon for those class. So, for the assault, it's Riglo 1915. For medic, it's Self Slaughter 1906. And uh, for the support is what automatic, and the last one scout class. There's uh, Martini Henry sniper rifle. So what actually they were pressed at into the CTE program, and those uh, weapons are currently in test versions. So for the assault, uh, there's a Henry 1915 defensive version. This variant comes with a 120 round jar magazine and a bipod. It offers more rounds in the magazine and it's designed for stationary use. To unlock it you need to get 300 kills with the Hellriglo 1915 factory, which is the basic one, and 25 kills with anti-tank mines. This will be very interesting because of those 120 rounds in the magazine. It will be used for the defensive purpose for sure. For Medic class, the Serp Slider 1906 Sniper version, so there will be uh, sniper optics on it, not only iron sights, but sniper optic. And this version of the Serp Slider 1906 comes with the sniper scope and a bipod. It offers increased range for an already accurate weapon. You need 300 kills with the factory variant and 25 kills with rifle grenades to unlock it. Honestly, uh, I would really appreciate to get more rounds in the magazine for this weapon because uh, the factory one and I guess the sniper one uh, will have only 5 rounds in the magazine which you can kill only one person and you can switch to your secondary weapon and kill another one if there's any. <laughs> but that's, I, I would appreciate rather than the sniper scope to get more rounds in the magazine but we'll see how it will go. Let's move on. The support class Hot Automatic Optical. This variant includes improved sights and a foregrip. It's designed for on the move combat and offers greater control over recoil. To unlock it, you'll need 300 skills, 300 kills with the low weight variant and 25 kills with the limpet charges. Well, honestly, I haven't played with Hot Automatic, so I don't know if the recoil is big or not. I can't really tell. We'll see, we'll see. So the last class, Scout obviously, there's a Martini Henry Sniper version. The already very powerful Martini Henry gets a Sniper variant with a long range scope and a bipod. As you'd expect, this could make the weapon more effective at further ranges, if for nothing else than replacing the iron sight. You need 300 kills with the infantry variant and 25 kills with the bayonet charge. Well, honestly, uh, the Martini Henry is OP. It's basically one shot almost every time. And uh, if it's not a one shot, it's over 90 enemy hit. So that's very powerful. And actually, if you put the scope on it, it will be overpowered, in my opinion. But we'll see how the players actually will really use it. Alright guys, this is gonna be it for me. I hope you will find those informations useful. If you did, please leave a like on this video and let's continue in the gameplay actually. And I hope you will enjoy it too. Because I got a decent amount of points and decent amount of kills. And actually if you like the gameplay you can leave a like too, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Thank you guys for watching and actually thank you guys for listening. See ya tomorrow. It's Evil Hunt. Goodbye.
Vedo un carro, attenzione! C'è spazio per me! Objective Charlie. 